And of course, it's also a very wet day for the runners of the 119th Boston Marathon. An estimated 30,000 people are running the 26.2 miles from Hopkinton, Mass to Copley Square. As we know, it's been two years now since the bombing, and we all know it killed three people and injured hundreds more at the finish line. Security remains a priority, along with the enjoyment of the competition. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell has been in Boston all morning long and joins us now live with more. And Perry, everybody who's running, actually, we know there's a heavy security presence there. What have you been seeing? Well, so far, we've been seeing a very, very heavy security presence. Anybody who's actually running using a wheelchair or a hand cycle has already started the Boston Marathon. It's just a matter of time until they finish a block from us on Boylston Street. Welcome to the 119th Boston Marathon. Any day for the Boston Marathon is perfect. A heavy police presence is hard to ignore as racers from around the country and world are here. The marathon is for all ages and skill levels, taking on a wicked 26.2 miles of pavement in this weather that can only be described as meh. Temperatures are in the 40s and the rain is coming down. Describe for me this weather in one word. <laughs> Boston. Brisk, cold, feels like home. <laughs> No, it's great. It's going to be rainy, it's windy, it's cold, but this is once in a lifetime opportunity. The last time we saw conditions like this was at the 2007 race. Since then, the weather has been pretty much sunny. About a block from where we are is the finish line. There, the assembly line is up and running for the racers, so once they cross, they can fuel back up. Tim is my husband. Tim. We ran into Ramona Turner from Canada down to the finish line. Her husband is running the race with his marathon group. We are here supporting. We've been his fourth year running, and this is my third year spectating, and we love it. And we just got into us that Caroline Rotich has won the women's race. Remember, these races are all about charity. They raised more than $38 million last year for 300 charities. Todd? Talked about security at the top when I tossed to you, but a bit more about that. What kind of police presence specifically are you seeing? Well, Todd, it's one of those things that literally wherever you turn, you see some form of a police presence right behind where we are set up. It's one security checkpoint. They are going through bags, so anybody who actually gets even remotely close to the race course area has their bag checked. We also have seen some Bob sniffing dogs as well as some special ops. Todd? Okay. Perry Wesson reporting live for us from Boston, side of the Boston Marathon. We do appreciate it. Thank you, Perry.